Good morning, YouTube family. This is Crystal from Crystal Saves Cash. I am coming to you with my first Dollar Tree haul of 2019. So this is over a couple of days. Um, I, this video is in no particular order. I'm just grabbing stuff out of the bag as I have it. So without further ado, because I'm getting ready to watch the playoff game, go Saints. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this haul. So the first thing I got is this. And what this is, is, is just a basic um, organizing tool, so to speak. Um, just hold on. Yeah. So it's just a basic um, container. And what I plan to do with this is I plan to take it to work and use it at my job because I want to start organizing my desk at work. So I have some ideas of things that I'm going to put in this. Next thing I got is this folder. And basically this is just the Jot brand classic, uh, or what does it say classic, but organizer file. What I plan to do with this is, you know, everybody knows it's tax season. So I need to start getting my files and stuff together, but I actually want to use this for organizing 2019. So current year stuff. So that next year when it's time to file taxes, I'm not as I am right now looking all over the place for all of my paperwork. So what I like about it is it's, it has tabs up here and then it has the little labels or sheets or whatever you want to call it where you can label your files. And there's a pocket right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, eight different pockets that you can put stuff in. The next thing I picked up is a Bolero product, and this is the body cream in French and lavender citrus. I'm not, I mean, I like a lot of the Bolero products, but I'm not very fond of lotion because to me, lotion is too thin. So I like creams. So I picked this up because a lot of the other Bolero stuff I don't get. Like I don't, I don't like the oil. Um, they had a face scrub in this as well, but I didn't want to be bothered with the face scrub. But I'm, I'm curious as to how thick this is going to be. And, you know, if it works out well, then I'll keep it in my car. And I wonder if I keep it in the car, if it gets hot, will it start to like melt? Because sometimes creams will do that if the temperature starts to get hot they'll start to thin out or what have you but let's just see how I did like that it was sealed too so I've opened it so let's see that's it right there um eh, seems a little thick for what you would think a Dollar Tree product would be but I see it's not bad. The smell is decent. It's not overpowering or anything like that. I mean, it's doable to keep in my car. Um, as far as something that I would like for my body, I would like it to be thicker, but it was okay. All right. Next thing I picked up here, I have stickers. So here we have some of the um, stick planner stickers. What I liked about this one, I like the Bon Voyage. That's one that uh, caught my attention when I was looking at it. Um, the Staycation, I like that sticker. The flip side of it, I like the Road Trip little van right there. Um, the car was cool. And, you know, there's the, right there, you can see the world. So I did get this one. And then I got this one as well. And what, I, what struck my eye or caught my eye with this one was actually on the, the flip side of it. I liked the laundry stickers right there. Uh, the, we have yeah, weekend plans. I like the coffee date stickers. So this is one side of it. And I hate the glare, but there is the other side of it. So I did get two sets of each pack of the stickers I'm not sure this out, but. so i got a total of four but it's only two different kinds so there we go with that um the next thing i purchased was this resistance band um i've used this before with my kickball team we use these as part of our warm-up routines 
So I just grabbed another one for upcoming season. Um, here we have another Bolero product. Like I said before, I'm not very fond of the face stuff, but I did want to try this. This is a paper facial mask and it's in the coconut oil and sea salt. It says all skin types and advanced formula. So I'll probably do a review video on this. Another thing that I caught my eye, they have this face primer, LA Colors. There's four types. Um, this one is green. It says color correcting. So you have the clear, which is for minimizing pores. Yellow, it says corrects dullness. Cool pink brightens complexion. Peach neutralizes dark spots. And green neutralizes redness. So I got this one, the green and... I got another one. Really? As soon as I'm doing the video, now the dog wants to bark. Um, here. Here is the other one that I picked up. And this one is the cool pink. So at my sorry. At my store, they only had these two. Another thing that I purchased at the store were seeds. Every year at spring, I always try to do my gardening again. I always say I'm going to try to grow my own vegetables, try to help out the budget a little bit. So here we go again. Um, I picked up two of the carrots, one parsley, and another oregano. Next thing I got were the snack size bags. What caught my eye with this is I actually stand up, but I like that for portion control, it has up there where you can have um, half a cup, three-fourths of a cup, or one cup. So I'm really working on my diet again this year. I lost maybe like 30 pounds last year, but I need to get back to it. So I got this for portion control. I also picked up another sandwich bag, nothing special. It's just I cooked spaghetti and meatloaf last week. I need to portion it out. I always cook way too much, but I don't want to throw it away. So I need to portion things out and put it in the freezer for a later use. This I picked up just to put on the floor, a carpet freshener. I'm not really sure that this is a good deal as far as you know, the value for your dollar. I think unit cost, you may get more if you go to Walmart. Um, I may um, do the math for you and see if this is even worth purchasing at the Dollar Tree. Here I have another Bolero product. This again is the body cream in the coconut oil and sea salt. So I got both two of them. I have the what is this? French lavender and citrus. And then I also have the coconut oil. Um, here I did finally find the body polish. So I got the coconut and sea salt body polish. And I did get the other one for the same one. I got the French lavender and citrus. I always pick up gum at the Dollar Tree. Um, I bought some paper towels just for what they are intended for. I did find the Scott Comfort Plus tissue toilet paper. I got this for my daughter for Valentine's Day. I don't, to be honest, I bought it so early. I mean, Valentine's Day is like, what, almost a little less than a month away. So I'm not sure if this is even going to make it for her for Valentine's Day. I might have to go back and get another one because I may eat this before Valentine's Day comes. I picked up some flowers. And these are just two stems of, it's kind of hard to see, but they're not really, they're cross between like yellow and white, but they're very pretty. And I also got, to go with that, I picked up this vase. Now, I actually, when I bought these items, I actually bought two sets of these, so a total of four of the flowers and two of the vases. And my intentions are to put the flowers in the vase, you know, kind of like this. I did, and I had, the reason why I bought two of each was because I wanted one for my desk at work and one for here at home. I've already done, put these together and taken it to work, so I will put a picture at the end so you can see what it looks like. 
Um, the next thing that I purchased, I got some of the Valentine's Day cards. This one says it's for my daughter. This one I just thought was cute because I'm a dog person. Obviously, you hear the dog in the background. Uh, the next thing I got, I so I also I found the girl boss um, notebook pad. I keep trying to find the little desk sign. Like back in the day, you for your desk at work, you have your name plate and whatever. I keep trying to find that one. I saw it one day that says girl boss. It was purple. I saw it one day at one Dollar Tree. I did you know bad thing. I didn't pick it up. I was like, oh, I'll come back and get it. Well, of course, you know, went back to go get it. They were gone, and I have yet to see them since. Um, again, for the kickball team, I did get this resistance band as well. I was happy to, to see these. I bought the, this is the Dollar Tree version of Poopery, but, you know, the national or name brand version is called Poopery. This one is just called Toilet Spray. When I, I didn't even think about this, but when I went on my first cruise last year in October, my roommate thought to bring Toilet Spray. And I was glad that she did because we ended up did having to use it, but it was just something I never thought to buy. Now, in one of my back in the day, um, Essence used to have the Essence boxes. And in the Essence box, I actually got an actual sample or it was more than a bigger than a sample. It was a full size of the actual poopery. And I really, really love it, but that stuff's expensive. So when I saw this long, long time ago at the Dollar Tree, I did not get it. And of course, went back to go get it. It's no longer there. So now I was happy to finally find this at the Dollar Tree again. So I got this one in the lavender and vanilla. And I also got this one in the French or fresh citrus. Um, the next thing I purchased... This I got, it's an actual, what is this? Silicone glove. This is supposed to be an oven mitt. Honestly, y'all, I don't think I would trust using this to take a hot plant pan out of the oven. But my intentions for using this is to actually take and put it on the side of my sink or in the middle of the sink because I have the standard you know, sink that has the two different sinks on one side. So I plan to put it in the middle of the sink as if this is the crease of the sink. I want to put it here. To let it hang there and then on one side this way, on one side put my sponge and on the other side put my dish towel just to have something to put it in so that it's not just laying there so that's the reason why i purchased this not for its actual intended usage um the other thing i bought was i found this soft soap earth blends soap and y'all i really do not need any more soap i am so overrun with soap but i saw it and I thought it would be nice, so I picked up one. Um, I bought this, the Salon Selective Frizz Control. I'm very, it's a leave-in soothing. It says leave-in soothing. It has argon oil from Morocco, soothes and protects. So I, I just, you know, washed and blow dried out my hair. I haven't actually straightened it other than with the blow dryer, but I want to use this and see if it helps control frizz. And I, oh, I didn't know I bought two of the resistance bands. So I have one in pink and one in blue. The other thing I bought the screen protector for, this is for the um, iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus, 7 Plus, and 8 Plus. Um, I'm currently borrowing an iPhone from a friend. And of course, since it's not mine, I don't want to get, the, I don't want the screen to crack. I had a Samsung Galaxy S7 and it just totally crashed on me like a week ago. So being that I have a loaner phone and I had this on my Samsung Galaxy X7 that I bought from the Dollar Tree and it worked very, very well. So I went back to go get this to put on the, the loaner phone that I'm using. Um, I got some Nature Valley Oat and Honey Granola Bars. I, know, I mean, there's only four bars in here, so like two packs of two. I know this is not a good buy at the Dollar Tree as far as unit cost is concerned, but I just, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like going into Walmart or Kroger's or something where the line is going to take forever. So I just grabbed it because I needed it for my exercise class and stuff. Um, this also screen cleaning wipes I purchased to go along with the phone and keep my my screen clean. And, you know, random purchase band, band, um, bandages, just needed some more. So. 
then the last thing, well, what do we have here? And my, something is tangled here in my bag. Okay, I found the chickens. And y'all, I did not need this, nor do I even care for chicken things in my house, but they are too cute, so I just could not pass them up. I probably will, you know, gift them to someone else. So I found the blue one. And here is the white one. Here is the black one. And last one is the red one. So if you're looking for these in your stores, there are four of them that I found as far as colors. You have red, you have black, then you have white. And you also have blue. So red, black, white, and blue in the chickens. So that's it for my Dollar Tree haul today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you all enjoyed this. Um, there will be more different types of hauls and stuff to come as I'm just now starting with the YouTube channel. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope to see you all later. Thanks. Bye-bye.